Hello Taurus, welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is a general reading for February 2021. Hope you guys are doing well. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single one of you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And if any of it does resonate with you, I really appreciate a like, share, comment, subscribe. It helps support my efforts here and gets the word out to others who need it most during this time. Okay, let's see what we have coming in for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus Spirit? February 2021, what do they need to know? Love and light come forward for Taurus Spirit. We have the Ten of Cups. Wow, cool. <laughs> Love to see that as the first card coming out. This is a happy card. Very good. Let's see what else we get. King of Swords. Okay. Could be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody might be a little bit too controlling, wanting things their way. We will clarify what this is all about. Make some room here. Okay, what else do we have for Taurus Spirit? We have the Temperance card, okay? Could be connecting with a Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, Five of Swords, okay? So there is some kind of conflict or argument happening in the month of February. Something here that might be stressing you out with this Five of Swords. Something here... We will clarify what this is all about. Um, but so far we have a, a message here to be patient as you move through these energies. I think a lot of you here have a Ten of Cups possibly going on right now, which means happy. And then there's a curveball being thrown your way. We will get some clarity here. Spirit, tell me about this spread for Taurus for February 2021. What do they need to know here? Messages of light and love for Taurus. What is this Ten of Cups all about? Oops. We have the Three of Swords. Okay. Some of you in a connection either... Yeah, romantically. Some of you in a romantic connection in the past here have had a broken heart. Okay. I think a lot of you were expecting to live happily ever after with someone and something here leaves you feeling broken hearted. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the star card, Aquarian energy here. This has to do with you hoping and wishing and praying that this relationship will work out and come back into alignment with this happily ever after energy of this 10 of cups. Okay. I think that your person might be a little bit on the controlling side. They want things their way. Let me know if this is resonating with you. Feel free to comment. Tell me more about this King of Swords here, Spirit. We have the Nine of Wands. Okay. So it's possible you guys are in this King of Swords energy where, you know, male or female doesn't matter. I think that this person... I mean, if they broke your heart, I think that you're wanting to, you're approaching life with a guarded heart going forward, obviously, Nine of Wands. It's like you want to move forward, but you're a little bit hesitant here. Okay, let's see what else I can get here. Something has you stressed out. I think that they... Maybe slightly manipulative, okay? We have a Page of Cups energy and a Two of Cups energy. So it's possible you um, are married to this person. Page of Cups here, this is you envisioning a new beginning with this person. I think that you guys want to have happier days ahead, but I think you're proceeding with caution here. The Page of Cups talks about um, making plans with this person, possibly... Wanting to, them to understand that there's a lighter energy ahead. I think a lot of you want to work it out with them. But I don't think that they're meeting you halfway. Okay. Interesting. 
I think that you, with this Page of Cups energy, you may, you guys may have a, a child together, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be though, but you're wanting them to come into kind of a lighter energy here. You're wanting them to stop being so kind of cold to you. Okay, let's see what else I can get. Tell me more, Spirit, about Taurus, February 2021. What is this temperance card here for, Spirit, for Taurus? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a very slow-moving energy, okay? This is very... I think that a lot of you want some kind of resolution in this connection, but Spirit is asking you to be patient as you work through it. Um, it's not moving as fast as you would like it to in terms of either reconciliation or healing from this broken heart. I think that this Page of Cups is telling me that um, you need to find something, some kind of creative outlet, something that will distract you as you as you try to heal your heart here. There's some healing that needs to happen here. And I think that it's possible some of you may be going through like a split or a divorce. That's not for all of you here. Tell me more about this temperance and this knight of pentacles here. We have the page of wands. And this is a much lighter energy coming forward here. A lot of you want to put this past behind you. It's really hard to stop thinking about this person and this situation. With the page of wands here, it's like you want you want them to come into that happier person that you once knew. You want them to put aside this animosity and this kind of cold behavior they've been displaying towards you. Okay? A lot of you with a wands card here want to take some kind of action to make them heal or make them be warm to you again and I think that you are trying to force an outcome here that you don't really have a whole lot of control over. It's stressing you out, that's for sure. Let's find out about this Five of Swords here, Spirit. Six of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of you want partnership with this person. You want them to open up to you, tell you what they need, what they want to make this rela relationship heal. Okay, um, but it doesn't look like they're wanting to meet you halfway. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this five, or this six of pentacles and this five of swords. Tell me more, Spirit. We have a seven of cups, okay? Um, so I think a lot of you here are trying to find options to help this person. Okay, um, they may be dealing with some kind of stressful situation in their life. And I think a lot of you are trying to find a way to help them heal in some way. Seven of Cups. It's like you're looking for different ways, reading books, possibly talking to a counselor, thinking about moving into a new home together to kind of like repair the relationship. You really want things to come together in this situation. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what else I can get. Tell me more, Spirit. Ooh, we got the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups. So, this is a turn of events here. Didn't even let me shuffle it. Um, so, the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> this is cool because Spirit told you, is telling you to be patient as you wait for this person to heal. Um, we have a Nine of cu Cups, which is like the wish granted. And you did have the star card coming through where you're making a wish out to the universe asking God to help you through the situation. And the, the wish is going to be granted here, okay? It may not be granted in a way that you exactly want and at the speed with which you want for sure. Um, but you do have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? Something is going to move forward. You're just going to have to wait a little bit to let it play out, okay? Um, Try to be patient. Try to 
not force your way onto this person or this relationship. Try to relax. See how this, this lady is just kind of chilling here. Take a, take a time out to pull your energy back, okay? I know your inclination would be want, wanting to um, kind of get in their face and let's help heal this and all of that, but I think that they need to process things on their own as well, okay? With or without this person, you do have the Wheel of Fortune here. So there is happiness ahead for you. There is a lighter energy coming forward. It's just there may be a little bit bumpy for a, a little while here, okay? Let's see what kind of messages we can get from this Angels and Ancestors deck. Guys, I have another channel. It's called Faith Intuition. I will link to it here at 1045. Feel free to check it out. Uh, there may be some other readings on this channel that you would like to watch. What messages do we have for Taurus here, Spirit, for February 2021? What message do we have for Taurus here? We have the knight. Be brave and honest, okay? So I think that that it's possible your person may be hiding something from you, okay? I think it's possible they are trying to find options in their life to move forward here. I think a lot of you don't want to approach this person. They're kind of unapproachable. Let's see what else we get. I don't think they want to hear what you have to say. And I think that you, it feels like you're walking on eggshells with them. So if that's the case, I think that, you know, this is supposed to be a partnership. You need to hear me out as well. Okay. Be devoted and committed. Okay. Interesting. This person might just be having a hard time at the moment. Okay. It's not going to resonate with every single person. But here you are um, being devoted to this person, helping them through a hard time, possibly. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me one more for Taurus, Spirit. I think the inclination is that, you know, you're impatient and wanting to solve the issues right away. Um, this one's the moon card. Take note of intuitive messages, okay? Watch for signs on how to handle this person, okay? Um, use your intuition here to figure out what what is the best way to approach them. I know that it's like, I just feel like the walking on eggshells thing, okay? Um, also, we have full moons. When the full moon comes around, also um, note that things are kind of sketchy during that time. And so um, this asking you to be brave, open yourself up, talk to this person. And, um, you know, they should be able to open up to you as well. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.